What's up guys, welcome back to So Many Parks So Little Time, or as I like to call it, USS Mississippi Slaw. So today's probably gonna be a quick video. We are at ZDT Amusement Park in Seguin, Texas. This is a very small FEC or a very small amusement park, but there is one awesome reason why you want to come here and that is for Switchback. The first and only wooden shuttle roller coaster, not only in North America, but the entire world. It's a very awesome gravity group creation. I have ridden it before. It's such an enjoyable ride that I decided to make the quick side stop to uh, ZDT to uh, go get some more rides on it and bring you guys along for the ride as well. As for the rest of ZDTs, it may not be a big part, but they managed to cram a lot into a little. So yeah, let's go take a quick look around ZDTs. Let's go have some fun.
So Switchback is ZDT's worldwide claim to fame, that being the only wooden shuttle roller coaster in the whole world. And this is a very, very fun roller coaster. It is crammed into just an absurdly small footprint. Uh, Gravity Group just did a fantastic work cramming it, not only so that they didn't have to take anything out, but they didn't even have to take out any of the buildings, any of the structures from around here. And then as ZDT's decided to expand into a full-on amusement park, they plopped down rides around the structure as well. So this ride is just a masterclass on preserving space. And then it is a ton of fun. It's got just the right amount of smoothness and roughness that it has a lot of personality for a wood roller coaster. The Timberliner trains are super comfortable, and actually this thing takes a lot of really, really severe sharp turns. Like the one at the very top of the lift hill, that thing is just crazy to look at. And then the front half has a lot of really strong airtime going forward. And then the backwards part, it, it does lose a bit of steam, but because you're going backwards, your equilibrium, everything is just thrown off. So going forward, going backward, it doesn't matter. This thing just rocks. And the name Switchback just being an homage to the names of roller coasters from the early 1900s, that's just fantastic. So the most unique thing and probably the coolest thing about ZDTs is how this park just reuses its space. Like these over here, they used to be grain silos and now uh, there's a rock climbing wall on them. Uh, this used to be a warehouse behind me, but now it's a go-kart track. And I believe uh, this used to be a grocery store and now it's partially houses uh, the roller coaster as well as an events building. So yeah, they took this like a really derelict area and then just turned it into something that's fun for everyone and it is awesome.
let's see what we can make here. Uh, nickname to identify the ride, let's just go with Satellite. Next. Alright. It tracks Ice. Asteroid or Ice World. Let's go Asteroid. You know, because Satellite. Ooh, we gotta end with a mystery. Uh, let's start with a drop and then. What do we want to do? Yin Yang looks pretty insane. Let's do Yin Yang Paperclip. Um, ooh, this looks intense. Barrel. Uh, tunnel's okay. That's the straightest corkscrew I have ever seen. Let's flip. And then mystery. Okay. Alright, let's see if my days in playing Roller Coaster Tycoon and No Limits 1 have paid off. Oh my goodness, this thing is run on Windows 95, it looks like. I recognize that hourglass anywhere. Oh, look at that. Crystal clear quality. Whoa! Absolutely 90s cheese and I'm all for it. This thing is honestly, it's actually a lot of fun. That was really cool.
that was ZDT's Amusement Park in Seguin, Texas. This is such a fun place. It's probably one of my favorite FECs anywhere. Obviously, Switchback makes this place very, very special, but it has its very own unique charm, the way it integrates uh, the old architecture into its amusement park. It's a place that builds up rather than just levels it and then creates something from scratch. It incorporates its previous history into whatever it does, and then even names like Switchback honors the history of roller coasters in general. It all comes from a place of respect and it makes a park just so, so unique. Not to mention the offerings here are fantastic. There's something for everybody to do. If the thrill rides are too intense for you, there's uh, go-karts that are included with admission. There's a water park, two arcades, and if you want just an epic birthday party, you can have it at ZDT's. And probably the best part is that it's at a very fair price point. This is not an expensive place to have a couple hours of fun. On both of the times I've been here, the roller coaster, everything has just been a complete walk-on, so you're basically buying ERT just by admission alone. Great ride, great prices, and the staff is super friendly as well. Overall, just a full package in a space that is honestly so tiny that you could probably fit a Walmart on the spot. So that's all for ZDT's. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. We'll see which park we're at. Take care.